Welcome back. She felt lost and overwhelmed, was struggling with mom guilt. Does this sound familiar, mothers out there? Uh, but this woman was able to find her inner peace and wants to help other moms. She has a new book. It's called Inner Compass Mom, Finding Peace and Purpose in the Midst of Motherhood. And author Danielle Coberdance joining us this morning. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're on with us. You're a San Diego mother uh, with four children. My goodness. And you had time somehow to write this book. So part memoir, part prescription for the overwhelmed mom. Tell us about your book. What is Inner Compass Mom? Well, let's explain Inner Compass. Inner Compass is it's our intuition. It is it connects us to who we truly are, to our authentic self. And when we follow a path, uh, of, when we follow our inner compass, we follow a path of inspiration, meaning, purpose, joy. So to me, what an inner compass mom is, is somebody who knows she has responsibilities taking care of her family, but she also has responsibilities to take good care of herself and to check in with herself regularly to see what it is that she needs, what it is that she wants to maybe increase in her life, maybe reduce in her life and really to listen to that intuition. Mm, okay, so I was um, looking through the book and one of the quotes that stood out, I had to reframe my beliefs around taking time for myself. I had to view it as an investment in myself. How do we yeah. do that? How do we figure out when to do that? <laughs> well, it's a journey. First of all, it is a journey. The change doesn't happen overnight, but if you keep um, reflecting on your beliefs and if you stay in touch with how you feel and your thoughts it's definitely a path of becoming aware of your inner world your thoughts and your beliefs whenever you say no I feel guilty I can't do this check with yourself what do you believe what are your thoughts and then ask yourself is that really true are those really true or can I look at it differently can I still find a way to give myself permission to take that time um, to, you know, carve out some time for myself and be okay with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I woke up during the spiritual awakening, I woke up to a lot of these false beliefs and was able to reframe a lot of them, which helped me greatly in my life. Yeah, of course, we talk about mom guilt a lot. You know, you don't want to even take an hour to just work out, read a book, do something that's just you on your own because you feel guilty that your kids need yeah. you. How do we handle that? Well, part of it is checking how you define what a good mom is. And so many of us moms feel we have to give everything to our families and that it's selfish to take time for ourselves. But I'm challenging moms to ask themselves, is that really true? Or might I be an even better mom when I spend time for to myself, filling my own well with things that inspire me, activities that really fulfill me? Mm -hmm. And then when I recharge because I'm doing things for myself, maybe I can even be more present with my kids. So I think it's very important we take time for ourselves and pursue what it is that we want to do. And yeah, we're, we're better moms for it. That's how I feel. And I, we're, we're looking at the images of your beautiful family, four children, and you were saying during commercial break, they range in the ages from elementary all the way up to high school. <laughs> Yeah, and beyond. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm in the midst of it. You're in the midst of it. Um, I, I really do struggle sometimes with even having time to read a couple pages in a book, and you were able to write one. So I'm impressed, and I'm uh, grateful that you could put this, you know, lay it out in a way that moms shouldn't feel guilty, right, to invest in themselves. Uh, ahead of Mother's yeah. Day, Danielle, I want to ask you, what can each of us do for the moms in our lives? Ask them what they need. Mm -hmm. Ask them what you can do for them and encourage them to really take time for themselves regularly, not just on Mother's Day, but throughout the year, throughout the weeks, and every day, carve out a little bit of time and sometimes bigger chunks of time and even maybe put it on the calendar. You know, set a date with yourself to spend time <laughs> alone pursuing what you want to do. That's great. Encourage them. I love that idea. Mom, what do you need? That's like music to a mom's ears. Um, also, real quick, if you could tell us about the book launch happy hour that you have going on. Yeah, absolutely. It's tomorrow at 4.30 over Zoom. 
We're so excited. Um, we're celebrating moms, of course. We're toasting to moms and the launch of my book. It'll be fun. We have some prizes to give away, including um, this basket and some other stuff. And anybody who wants to join us can do so by going to my website, innercompassmom.com. All the information on how to RSVP, it's a free event. Um, it's all there. Um, uh, more information. Yeah, intercompassmom.com. It's all there. Beautiful. All right, Danielle, thank you so much for joining us and happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right.